first thing you'll have to do if you've not already done so is to download Visual Studio Community 2017. It's a free download and will give you everything you need for compiling software and making your own, editing the user interfaces and so on. There are a lot of add-ons that you can choose to make it easier to code your programs, but I'll leave that to you to find out about, as well as also learning the various languages that it can support. Then after it's done downloading, you will want to start out Visual Studio. Okay, let's see if we can compile the new open source code for the old, old WinFile program. Go Team Explorer so we can see the local JIT repository, and then we want to clone an online one, and it'll be copied to our local repository. And let's start the cloning process, which is basically downloading it as a local copy. Just their fancy term for it. It says click on solutions and folders above. We target projects. Okay, so I don't have the version that it's expecting, so let's hope this works okay upgrading it. like everything's done there so project is loaded so I'll go to project build now I'll go to build and I'm going to build the solution oh I have a debug version I actually want to go to release version since my friend is not gonna want the de debug stuff okay compiled correctly that's good Okay, now let's go to release. We want, we want 132, I think. I, I don't know if it'll go in an x64 version. Let's see if it does do the x64 version. And build solution. Oh, I see tons of errors. I don't think it likes the x64. Dear, that's tons and tons of errors. Yeah, let's just keep that at Win32. Build clean solution. Okay, now build solution. Those are warnings, those aren't necessarily a problem by themselves. There we go, it finished building. I need to go to here, and somewhere here we can just open the folder. Open folder in File Explorer. There we go. Go to the release version. And there we go, WinFile EXE. Uh, I think that's all we need is the EXE. Yep. So we're going to copy that. Seems to be working perfectly fine. 
There is one problem. The help file is not working. Now, the README did include an explanation of how to get it working, but I am not really sure what it is you have to do, because I only skimmed past it, and really, for me, it's not that important. The person I'm compiling this for, I don't think it's important. But for the rest of you, you can actually look to see about fixing that problem. Well, I hope you all found this useful, um, and I hope you all have a good day.